to How to Make a Short Story in Scratch Jr. with me, Sammy the Robot! Yay! In this episode, we're gonna learn how to make a dance party! Today, we're going to learn how to add backgrounds, add pages, and make our characters dance forever! <laughs> Are you guys ready? Alright, so in the last episode, we learned how to move our characters so they dance. So right now, your characters should be dancing kind of like this. So my flower dances when I click on the green flag. And then cat dances when I tap on cat. So now, let's add a background. It's so easy to add a background. So you're just gonna look on the top screen and you're gonna click on the background right here beside the ABC. And then these are some backgrounds that I drew, but there are also other backgrounds that are already in Scratch Jr. So, hmm, let's see. How about we have, um, how about we have, um, a dance party on the beach. So I'm gonna click on beach and click on the check mark right here. Boop! All right! So that's a really cool background. And you know what's even cooler? You can go back to the beach. And if you click on the paintbrush, you can kind of change the background. So for example, maybe I want to change the color of the surfboard to purple. So then I can just use the paint bucket tool and color it in like that. Isn't that awesome? And maybe I want pink sand. Ooh. Or how about lime green? Or this color. You can change it to whatever you want. And then I have my characters here now. And then the next thing I want to do is add a another page. So, oh, I already have another page here. And you might be asking, Sammy, how did you do that? Well, let me show you. So first of all, I'm just going to click on this for two seconds. And then I see an X pop up. So I'm gonna click it to get rid of it. And let me show you how I did that. I just clicked on the plus button right here. And there you go. And you might be asking, but Sammy, where is flower? And why is the beach not here? Well, that's because every time you add a page, you will only see cat. You'll have to re-add flower or whatever other character you want and also the background. So to add flower back, I'll click on this plus button right below cat. And then I'm going to find flower right here and click on the check mark. And there you go. There's flower again. And how about in this page, we have a different background. So in the first page, my characters were on the beach. And maybe in the second page, 
They can go somewhere else. Hmm. How about the moon? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna click on moon and click on the check mark right here. And there you go. You have the beach on the first page and then the moon on the second page, which is so awesome. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do today is we're going to make sure that this dance party continues forever and ever. Right now, we have to click on the green flag for flower to move. And for cat, we have to tap on cat. But I want to change it so my characters keep dancing forever. Can you guess how we can do that? I'll give you a hint. You have to click one of the red buttons. Hmm, is it this one? End? No. Is it this one? Oh, it says repeat forever. Oh, let's try to put that on flower. Let's try to click on the green flag now. What will happen? Oh, look, flower is moving. And I just clicked the green flag once. So that is awesome possum. Okay, let's go to cat. And for cat, I want cat to also do the same thing. I'm going to remove this start on tap and I'm going to add start on green flag so that when we click on the green flag, both characters will start moving. Oh. But cat isn't moving forever. We have to add the forever block also to cat. Okay, so I will add it. And here we go. Awesome. So the characters are moving and dancing forever. Yay. All right, isn't that awesome, guys? Well, since we have that, let's go to the space page or whatever page you have for page two. And then for this page, maybe I can get them to dance in a different way. So for flower, hmm, let's see. How about, um, okay, I'll use the start on green flag and then maybe flower can um can do a little turn right and maybe turn left and then maybe hop and then maybe flower should go to cat so flower can go and maybe move three steps. Let's see what happens. I'll click on the green flag either here or here. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna click on this to make Vara go back. One more time. Whee! That was so much fun, wasn't it, guys? Huh, let's see what happens if I add the forever block. Oh, flower is moving. Whoa, it moved across the page. That is so fun, isn't it? Well, I'm going to stop flower for now. And then for cat, how should cat move? 
this time, instead of using start on green flag, we can use start on bump cat. Hmm, Sammy, what's gonna happen? Well, if something bumps cat like flower, then cat will move. So, when something bumps cat, let's make cat do a little hop. And then, um, how about move left and move right and go up and down. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to click on the green flag to move the flower and then let's see what happens when flower bumps into cat. Okay, ready? Go! Oh! Cat is moving! Oh, cat stopped. But wait, flower's coming back. Oh! Cat is moving again! Isn't that awesome, guys? Well, I love how the moon page is different from my beach page. Yay! Well, guys, I hope you liked today's episode. Today's homework is to make your dance party. Try to add different backgrounds and add pages and use the repeat forever block to make a dance party that goes on forever. Yay! All right, guys. Don't forget when you are done to ask your parents and teachers to go to www.otiya.com on details on how to share your project. Okay, guys. Well, until the next episode, I hope you guys have fun with Scats Jr. And I'll see you guys real soon. Okay, bye!